considered the verdicts of the jury. The court has considered the statements that were made um, by family members and friends today. Listening to everybody, what comes to mind immediately is that there were two direct victims in this case, but there were dozens of indirect victims of the loss of these two lives, as demonstrated by many of your statements today. So to say there was two victims is certainly an understatement. There were dozens of victims based on the actions of Mr. Eastman. I also don't want to have the focus on what this court has to say, because I don't want to minimize what the victims and family and friends have said today. But what I will say, Mr. Eastman, is that you are going to spend the rest of your natural life in prison based on your vicious acts of violence, jealousy, and control, and the taking of two precious lives and thereafter disposing of their deceased bodies in such a disrespectful manner. That's why you're gonna spend the rest of your life in prison. As it relates to count number one, with regard to murder in the first degree as it relates to Scott Sessions, the court is going to sentence you to a life sentence in the Colorado Department of Corrections without the possibility of parole. The court is going to award you 883 days of pre-sentence confinement credit for the record. As it relates to count number two, the court is going to impose a consecutive life sentence for the conviction of murder in the first degree as it involves Ms. Frank. As it relates to counts three and four, the class three felonies of tampering with their deceased human bodies, the court is going to impose for each count 12 years in the Colorado Department of Corrections. And while you will not be paroled with regard to those class three felonies, for the record, that carries an additional mandatory parole period of three years, each of those counts are going to run consecutive. And finally, with regard to counts five and six, for tampering with physical evidence, a class six felony, the court is gonna also impose the maximum sentence of 18 months in the Colorado Department of Corrections, followed by an additional mandatory parole period of one year. So for the record, all six counts are running consecutively to one another. Essentially, the court is going to sentence you to back-to-back -to -back life sentences followed by an additional sentence of 27 years. While this is somewhat academic, the court is going to order that you pay all other statutorily required conditions, including financial obligations, and provide the prosecutor 30 days to file any additional requests for restitution in this case. And we are in recess, and for those of you who are leaving again today, we offer our condolences on behalf of the state of Colorado. And I also wish once again to thank the jurors in this case for their hard work and dedication um, in reaching your decision. We are in recess. Good luck to you.